Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today we're putting a Pakistani F-16 against an Iraqi MiG-21 in a close-in dogfight. Uh, there's lots to talk about with the F-16, the features that we got in early access and all that kind of stuff, and uh, maybe we can cover some of those topics here today. Uh, speaking of the F-16 and the MiG-21, check out the new F-16 and MiG-21 shirts from Wild Weasel. Hit up their store, and have a look around, see if you find anything you like. Uh, supporting Wild Weasel helps to support the channel and the DCS server that Wild Weasel helps to sponsor. Don't forget that my viewers get 10% off with the code GROWLING10. Okay guys, let's dive into this video. Let's throw on those cockpit lights. So if you guys are wondering why we're putting an F-16 up against the MiG-21, doesn't really seem like much of a fight. Um, the fact is the F-16 uh, is not complete yet, uh, still in early access as a lot of you already know, and that means that, for example, we don't have a radar gun sight solution. We only have this funnel, so there's no lead computing going on telling me where to put the pipper to pull the trigger. Um, if I had that, this fight would be over in probably under 30 seconds. Uh, so. You can see that MiG-21 right in front of us. There's the merge right over the top. And I'm just going to do a uh, quick turnaround here. And notice how we've already bled off a lot of the energy. He's going high. I'm going to follow him high, even though I really don't have the energy for it. I kind of noticed that I didn't have energy once I was already committed to the climb here. So with this funnel, the objective is to put the wingtips of the aircraft um, in such a position that they touch the edges of the funnel, and then you can pull the trigger and it should theoretically hit them. Um, the only problem with it is it's obviously not as good as having lead computing, so it will result in a large wasting of ammunition. Um, now, that MiG-21 ended up diving um, we dove down, uh, kind of like stalled out essentially at the top there, and we got lucky and flopped right behind him here. And we're just going to hold that turn, and there he goes underneath us. We're going to turn into him, try to position ourselves nicely on a 6 o'clock. And you can see it took about two turns for the F-16 to end up on the tail of the MiG-21. So this isn't really a fight of who's going to win this fight, it's more a fight of how long can the MiG-21 survive. And I almost ended up going in front of him, so I'm just going to pull vertical here, bleed off some energy, kind of like a high yo-yo, and I'm just going to drop down behind him here. going to use rudders, invert the aircraft, and come back down on his 6 o'clock again. And now that I'm here, I should be... Um, easily able to maintain his six o'clock position. So the lack of the gun sight is a big thing for me personally. I really wish we had it on early access. Um, IFF would have been nice and some sort of damage model. Uh, we do have kind of a simplified damage model right now, but you know, it is what it is. So at this point, this MiG-21 is just trying to jink me out. And it's a small aircraft, so I kind of have to zoom in so I can keep visual on them. And so he's going high. Still a little bit too far. Okay, he's decided he doesn't like how that's developing. He's going to dive for the ground. We're going to give chase. And you can see the G out effect is already happening. This is another thing with the F-16. Um, I'm having trouble sustaining Gs. So the flight model, those rounds fell short. 
The flight model may be accurate, but it seems like the G effect comes in a little bit too early, which stops you from really pushing the aircraft to, um, you know, its full capabilities. Kind of seems like it handicaps the F-16 a little bit right now. You can't really pull those 9G sustained turns. Uh, so that's another quarrel I have with the uh, F-16 currently. Although I am impressed with the visuals though it is a nice little bird and uh, it's fun it's fun to fly I'll give it that so here's this MiG-21 he's climbing high right now this is probably what's gonna get him killed wing tips in the funnel there's the kill it's a fairly easy kill once you get used to the whole funnel thing um, it's not so bad but it's definitely harder than having lead computing or a radar gun solution, so. Alright guys, let's go uh, check this out in TAC view. Alright guys, here's our TAC view. Uh, big thank you to Air Hunter for coming out and uh, flying this video uh, in the MiG-21, knowing full well that he was up against an F-16 and didn't have much of a chance, but uh, he still came out and uh, did his best. Um, it was never going to be the MiG-21 winning. It was really a fight about, you know, how long could the MiG-21 survive? <laughs> that was really the... Uh, the things that we were looking for here okay so a um, couple of things to talk about here right off the merge uh, looks like uh, air hunter is going to climb um, we merge at about uh, looks like Mach 1 for him and I'm Mach 0.8 um, he climbs and I'm going to do just a horizontal turn now the horizontal turn not always a great move um, almost always not a great move um, you want to kind of like as you do this turn you bleed energy as you can see I started at 5 something and now I'm down to 409 um, The oblique or uh, horizontal turn is always gonna produce that effect um, My recommendation is always either go high do a, a high to low or a, sorry a low to high merge so like come in low Climb high so you can exchange energy gravitational potential to kinetic um, so just so you're exchanging stuff and you have uh, more energy to work with. When you do things like this, you kind of just bleed a lot of it off, and there's really no way to get it back other than your engines doing all the work. So that's kind of what I do here. We end up at around 300. So this, in my opinion, was a mistake. I wouldn't recommend that. In hindsight, I would have just uh, dipped my nose here right at the merge and then climbed up and met him at the, the higher altitude that he's going at. But, you know, we're here now, and so he's going to go up. He's at 320. And I'm coming out about 250. I really shouldn't be climbing after him in this situation. And this is really a, a good example of the F-16 being so dominant to the MiG-21 uh, that I'm making all kinds of mistakes and I'm still kind of, you know, ending up in a superior position to him. So you can see I climbed up and didn't have the energy to do it. Um, he got up there about 300 and he's coming back down to our speed of 434. I'm at true speed of 100 about to stall out and you know I do manage to just lopside the plane over use the rudder just to get back on his tail here. Um, he's well off and away at about 400. Now luckily the F-16 has a very powerful engine and I'm able to uh, regain that speed very quickly. Um, Air Hunter was pulling some uh, some turns here which cost him a little bit of his energy as we can see he looks like he tries to maybe turn back into me 
but then he notices what's going on here as then I'm coming in and he reverses that. He pulled a lot of G's, lost a lot of energy there. Um, which is gonna allow me to start to come in behind him. Now, the one thing you can see is as he goes, I don't just necessarily dive right into him, right? So as he's coming, I don't just instantly dive from this position into him. I'm gonna move forward to where a general point where I feel like he may have turned and I'm gonna initiate my turn there which is gonna put me nicely on a six o'clock. If I initiate a turn here, I'm gonna come in at him too high aspect and I'm gonna end up shooting off in this direction here. But if I just delay my, my turn in a little bit and then I initiate the turn, you can see I'm starting to move into a more favorable six o'clock position by doing that. And so he's gonna break to the left here. And at this point, you know, it's basically a done game. Now, if the F-16 had a radar gun sight that locked onto its target, this fight would have been over a very long time ago, I feel like. But uh, this is just how it, how it is with the uh, current F-16. And you gotta use the funnel and put the wings on the two sides of the, the funnel to range him cor correctly and then hit him with some guns. So, um, it takes a little bit longer, a little bit more patience. You kind of have to hope that the guy maintains a turn. If he jinx too hard, you're going to have a hell of a time hitting him. So these are all things to keep in mind here. Now I'm just trying not to overshoot here because uh, the F-16 loves to accelerate. So, you know, you got to be careful with it. So here I am just sitting on a six and pulling a little bit of lead just so I can get a little closer. Uh, I'm pulling back on the throttle a little bit to ensure that I stay on a six o'clock position and I'm going to just continue to just follow him hope that he at this point it's really a matter of him like doing something other than just flying away from me for me to get a position to kill him he's going to climb a little bit and I think he will quickly realize that that is not what he wants to do so then he starts instead of climbing he's going to break to the right here and i'm going to just again try to sit on a six this whole time i've been trying to line up a, a gun solution on him but it's extremely difficult with that funnel um, which is why you don't see me doing this video against like a sukhoi 27 or something um, because i need all the help i can get in that situation and i don't feel like the f-16 is just there yet in order to perform the way that it should um, for us to put it up against like a a true foe and see how it does we'll do that once a little bit more of those features get implemented so once again he's gonna dive for the ground I'm just staying on a six you can see me try to take those rounds take those uh, take that shot there and those rounds are gonna fall just short of him um, this is the problem with the using the funnel um, if I had the radar gun sight, I would have known that that wouldn't have hit him and I would have been able to lead him just a little bit more because I got the speed. I got plenty of speed. I could have led him a little bit more, but I didn't know. So this is one of the weaknesses of the current state of the F-16. When you don't have that radar gun sight, you do, you end up wasting a lot of ammunition. And so here I am just trying to continue to stay on the six o'clock here. He's jinking left and right, just trying to stay alive. It's almost, uh, it's almost hard to watch, but, uh, <laughs> He's doing, a, he's doing a great job just staying alive as long as he can. I just kind of feel like I'm bullying him at this point in an F-16 versus a 21. And a couple more rounds there over the top. And so at this point, I'm sitting on a six and he's gonna start the climb. Now the accelerate, the climb is always, I don't know how many videos we've done where people climb with a bandit on their six o'clock this close, especially if I had a radar gun sight you know it's just right here you he, would be dead but uh, again it's not his fault it's the MiG-21 obviously there aren't really a whole lot of things he can do with that aircraft in this situation so he's just gonna climb and I managed to range him perfectly put him right inside the funnel you can see those those tracers are leading him perfectly and they're just gonna hit him and he's out so again, uh, big thank you to Air Hunter for coming out and fighting this, uh, flying this video with me. 
and uh, fighting in the MiG-21, knowing full well that uh, it was just going to be a matter of how long he could survive. Um, we kind of showed off, I would say we showed off more of the weaknesses of the F-16 in its current state. Can you still shoot down a Sukhoi-27? Probably. You know, you could probably still do it, but I just don't feel like you could be as efficient as you should be in the current state. I would still wait maybe... I mean, I don't know how long it'll take for them to get those features in, but I would wait until those features come in before I start taking it out for true dogfights. And I feel like they kind of got to work on the GFX. Uh, personally, it's my personal opinion, the GFX comes in a little bit too early in the F-16, so you can't really pull as many Gs and sustain the turns like it's meant to do. So, just my two cents. Alright guys, so uh, thanks for watching. Thank you to Air Hunter. Uh, I hope you found the video entertaining. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.